What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I have something very exciting. The internet is still undefeated. A lot of this week has been filled with talk about the new RCS standard coming to Android via all of the US carriers, T-Mobile, Sprint, ATT, and Verizon. Google's been trying to get RCS working for a while, which is basically uh, giving you features that you would get on an iPhone with iMessage on Android. Well, they were supposed to roll this out next year among all the carriers, and everyone was a little upset about that. But this morning, uh, some nice people over at Reddit have figured out how to get that working on any Android phone. Now, I've already done it on my Pixel 4 XL, and I'll show you what it looks like on the Pixel 4 XL right here. You can see I do have chat features enabled right there. Now, you're going to need the Google Messages app to do this. I'm going to go through and show you guys all the steps to get this up and working. Uh, using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This should work with any Android phone and also on any carrier. You may get stuck at some point. I'll drop some troubleshooting tips below in the uh, description in case you have any issues. So the first thing to do is to turn off Wi-Fi on your device. You want to make sure you're using data to do this to make sure things get set up properly. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the Google Messages app installed right there. Again, I'll drop the link below in the description. And once you have the Messages app installed, you're gonna to need to join the beta right there. There's a beta for Google Messages. You can hit join, and then it'll enroll you in the beta. Uh, one thing you might have to do is go away from the app and come back because then there's gonna be an update waiting for you. You wanna go ahead and take the update because the update is what's gonna allow us to do this. You do need the beta version of Google Messages to go ahead and get started with this. Once you have the beta installed, you're ready to go ahead and start the process. The next thing you need to do is restart your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the Galaxy Note 10. And as soon as it boots back up, I'll come back and we'll finish the steps. Hopefully you guys will do the same. All right, YouTube, my Galaxy Note 10 Plus is done booting up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the remainder of the steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into your settings app. And we're going to go to the list of all apps which right here. And we're going to need to clear data in a couple of apps. Now, if you have a Samsung phone, one of the apps we're going to need to clear data for is called Carrier Services. It's right there. You may not have this installed. This is my Verizon Note 10 Plus, and I didn't have it installed. So you may need to install it from the Play Store. I'll put the link below so you can download it. Um, once you install it, you go to Storage, Clear Data. Uh, you may not even need to clear any data because there might not be any there if you freshly installed it, which is fine. Um, but if you do have the app already installed, you should clear the data right there. Um, and then go down to Messages, the Google Messages app, which you installed earlier, the beta for. Go in here, Storage, and then Clear Data. And then once you clear data, we're then ready to move on to the next phase. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go to the Play Store and download an app called Activity Launcher. Activity Launcher is an app which will allow us to set up the RCS profile. So we're going to go ahead and download that. As you can see, I already have. Once you download it, it looks like this in your app drawer. You can tap on it. Um, and then at the top here, you're going to change it from recent activities to all activities right there. Scroll down and find messages. Again, this icon, which is the Google Messages app. Scroll down and find set RCS flags. And then there's a couple of things you need to tap on. The ACS URL. Change this to the sandbox.google.com. Set OTP pattern. Go ahead and change this. There's only one option. Just make sure you do that. And then hit apply. So now what, once you've hit apply, what we're going to do, and I've noticed it does make a difference if you force stop it or if you just close it from the regular recents. I'm going to go back into apps. I'm going to find the Google Messages app in my list of apps. And I'm going to go ahead and force stop the app. So now we'll be able to go back into messages, open it up. You can see right here at the bottom, it says upgrade to RCS, do more with messages. This is the RCS service. Hit next. It's going to go ahead and verify your phone number and enroll you in RCS. You'll be able to get um, read receipts. You'll be able to get uh, see when people are typing, all those things that you would get from iMessage. If you go into the settings, tap on chat features. That's what you should see right there, connected. You guys can see I also was able to do this earlier on my Pixel 4 XL as well. So this does work on any Android phone. Uh, if you do get stuck, there are some troubleshooting steps 
that you can take and I will post those below if you guys are interested in them. Um, like I said, I've tested this on a Note 10 Plus, my Pixel 4 XL, I've tested it on the OnePlus 7T, so I've tested it on quite a few different phones now. Pretty confident it's going to work for you. Uh, I'll also drop an article below, a Droid Life wrote this up in a long form nice article um, from the Reddit thread where people figured this out. So I'll link their article, give them some views, um, so I don't have to write it up in a long form again. But I hope the video was useful to see sort of the representation of how things work. All the links will be in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.site, also on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys have any questions or need any help troubleshooting, drop them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.